today is a very special day. You know why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Today is November 30, which is the last day of the month. And tomorrow is December, and after a few days, 2017. Oh so fast, God. right? <laughs> Everyone will be a year older in Korea. Thank you. <laughs> right. But you know what? No matter how old you are, it's time for you to think about your future. People think about their future. And because of that, we thought about our New Year's resolution. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Were you the person who dreamingly aimed high for something a year ago? You thought about having a healthier and great body. I'm going to work out, diet, and gym. Or you're the person who thought that you need to study more, work more, in order for you to become a better English communicator. With a burning passion to succeed, you started working out. And working out, you read a lot of books. And immediately, after just a couple of days, you look yourself at the mirror. Hmm, it's not working. So you worked out again, but you just felt so hungry. And then you decided, ah, never mind. And in studying, you struggled so hard, and you saw someone who's better. What is the thing that he's not doing that I'm not doing? The blazing fire in our eyes slowly faded and died out. And then, we just quit. And then come another year. There's another motivation because it's the end of the year. Time for a new beginning. <laughs> but the cycle goes on and on. And there's just so much frustrations going on. Friends, in reality, our life is just full of frustrations. From the minor irritants of missing our subway stop to the major anxieties of not achieving our goal. We have so many worries, frustrations in any magnitude is definitely unacceptable. Correct? Yeah. Unfortunately, the best things in life, such as happiness, joy, success, freedom, purpose, all of them requires a great deal of frustrations. So, so sorry guys, there's really no way. But, can we avoid frustrations? Right, not really, but we can definitely manage it. And today I'm going to share to you quick and simple steps that's easy as A, B, C in order for you to manage your frustrations. And it will definitely make you still happier and positive despite trying circumstances. Let me start with letter A. Acknowledging actions instead of results. Oh, you look so great today. Fit and fab, man. What did you do? We are in a society where no one really acknowledges our actions, but more of the results. I run, I swim, I bike, I didn't eat, I do everything. I studied, I read a lot, I read five books. No one really cares unless they see your accomplishments. However, it is your job, our job, to give ourselves a pat in the back when the whole society is not supporting us. Frustrating problems, they are definitely draining our energy. And also, this 
simple emotions of frustrations. So what we need to do? We need to reclaim that energy by removing our worries. And because of that, we'll be even better by acknowledging our actions rather than the results. Let me move forward with letter B. Break. We need to have it. There are days where we were so worried. So we studied hard day and night, weekends, holidays, and we want quick results. And we end up burnt out, so stressed. Stop. Have a break. We need to eliminate ourselves from our goal for a while, temporarily, in order for us to rejuvenate, recharge, so that we will have more energy as soon as we come back. And finally is letter C. Change our perspective in life. Have you ever imagined your problem, your worry, Today, that's really big. How about tomorrow? Maybe a little bit of a worry, but how about in the next 10 years, 20 years? What do you think the impact of your problem will give to you? We don't really know. So we need to change our perspective. Try going out, see the sky, and realize that we are so small. How much our problem and our worries? Change your perspective. It, did, it cannot really eliminate your total problem or frustrations. <coughs> However, somehow we can minimize our stress so that we don't really have to worry. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, our life is just full of frustrations and we just have to deal with it. However, by remembering A, acknowledging your actions instead of results, B, having a break, and C, changing your perspective, definitely your life would be even better. Never ever prevent yourself in achieving your goal in these kind of frustrations and of course we have to live life in our full potential mr toastmaster thank you toastmaster